To be satisfied, I need to have, I know you don't like the word proof, but beyond reasonable doubt evidence to support a claim. Like two plus two equals four. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean, right? Every uh -huh. scenario, we've never had a case where two plus two equals five. Okay, I, you can't even fathom it. Do right? you need that kind of evidence before you can make a decision? Uh, you know, you start talking about error tolerances and, you know, what is good enough for me to believe it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Then you'll never get married. It's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go to sleep tonight if you have a roommate. Because there is no way that you have 2 plus 2 equals 4 type of certainty that that roommate's not going to stick a knife in your back as you lie asleep on your bed. You can't drive... Whoa. Okay. Uh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Man, I love Cleve, bro. I love Cleve, bro. The car. <laughs> Because you do not have 2 plus 2 equals 4 type of certainty that the guy coming towards the red light when you go through and it's green is going to stop. Gonna stop. You don't know he's not going to run that red light and send Yo! you to an early grave. You guys are making a fundamental mistake. You're thinking that in order to know something, you have to have such a preponderance of evidence, basically proof, in order to believe it. And you know what? You know what? Like, yo, you know what's really odd to me? Like, these people want 100% proof, but when it comes to God, only, bro. You don't see them doubting technology. You don't see the, you don't see them um, in this case that uh, uh, Cliff mentioned it. You don't see him um, trying to get a hundred percent proof that that's gonna happen. Okay, it, it's only when it comes to God. Why? <laughs> if you are gonna apply one rule to one thing, then apply it to all to everything else. If that makes sense. You can't live that way. Now you better not be a gullible fool and just blindly trust. So if you're going to push this inerrancy issue and laugh at Christians who believe the Bible is the inerrant word of God, knowing full well that there are thousands of manuscripts and thousands of manuscript variations, come on, buddy, you're playing a silly game. You can't live your life that way. It doesn't work. And my real problem is, because you're saying, there's not enough evidence for me to believe in Christ. But then you're going out and living for something that doesn't have anywhere near the evidence that Christ has, <laughs> and you're trusting it. Like all my wonderful friends who say, stock portfolio, Wall Street, oh. Oh. where it's at, man. Oh. And let's make no mistake, they get up at 4.30 in the morning, they get home at 8.30 at night, and they make a ton of money. And that's the bottom line. Please give me your overwhelming evidence that the <laughs> ultimate purpose of life is to make money. Give me a break. Hey, that's deep. That's deep, okay? <laughs> oh my god, bro. And I love that nobody's interrupting him. They're having a really deep combo there, okay? People have faith, incredible faith. The American dream. Make money. The American dream. It's a worldview, sir. Watch out. Yeah. Please, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, sir, so much for this.